Now that we've got all the excess cut off and it meets up securely or to the wall, now we're going to go through and we're going to put in our screws. Now I like to use what's called a, from a company called Tech, it's a metal lath screw. So this is the same diameter or close to it as the nails that you would put in. So they fit perfectly right in between the bead rows. And these are three quarter inch and I like to get the uh, pointed tips, not the self tapping. Now these are aluminum zinc coated, so they never rust, they just oxidize. So if you ever had to take the turf up for some reason, like we actually will be doing in six months at this place, and the turf's going to be removed and we're going to relocate it to a different section, it makes it easy to come back out and just unscrew these. So all we're going to do is we're going about every foot on this one. Uh, normally you'd probably want to go tighter about every six inches on a landscape yard and anywhere around stairs, uh, entryways, in and out, things like that, high traffic, I would really recommend going three inches uh, spacing on these to really secure it down. But for here, uh, we're just going to go one every foot. So you just screw it in. Once you hear the, the drill, just uh, get some, uh, it'll ratchet one time, then you know you've got it locked in. Just move the fibers out of the way, and that's it. Quick and easy. Um, and if you make a mistake, all you got to do is pull it out and just be careful that you don't catch any of the fibers underneath. But we did this whole run. Now that we've got this in, we stop two feet from the edge because we're going to be able to pull the, uh, the turf back in order to start doing our glue. Now we're going to kick any and all of the excess going that way. So see these wrinkles? We're going to make sure that we've got all the material stretched and pulled that way and we'll do this panel by panel.